Hello, everybody. I'm going to do a presentation comparing the old mag coil. This is the old by filler mag coil. Um, two connections, two wires wrapped around a core, and the new by fuller coil, um, significantly bigger. And again, it also has two connections. One one cable permanently attached to the 12 gauge, and then it has a plug for the secondary uh, winding, which is an 18 gauge winding. And there is a cable that will convert that plug into a connection point for the spookies. All right, let's put this back and show you the comparison and strength. I have a meter right here. I'm pointing to it right now, and it's turned on. And I'm going to, there's a, Right now, it's picking up a couple of milligauss, about 2.56, about 2.8 milligauss in noise background. There's a huge transformer over in the corner down on the floor there, and it's receiving that noise. Um, but it's still going to show us a nice um, difference between the two coils in their relative strength. Okay. I just plugged in the mag to the old style PEMF uh, unit that I have. Uh, this has been slightly enhanced. Anybody who has the older style that wants to have it slightly enhanced, um, the internal slightly enhanced, uh, so it'll accommodate two light bulbs and any size coil. Um, it'll cost you ten bucks plus okay. shipping. I'll uh, make the change for ten dollars and. Uh, uh, you'll have to pay the shipping. Okay, uh, such as the way of technology, improvements are constantly being made. So I have this all connected up, and I'm going to fire it up. And every time the light bulbs flash, you can see the meter in the background um, also deflect. I can give you a little bit better imaging on the meter by amplifying it with... Okay, I can control the number of deflections by turning up the speed, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn up the speed so it goes to its max, and I can tell you right now that meter is hovering uh, about 10 milligauss. That's about 10 milligauss with this little, and the distance here is approximately 3 feet. Um, it is, I would say it's three feet within an inch. All right. I'm going to terminate this and I'm going to now connect up the bifolar coil. And I'll back, back up the screen video a little bit so we can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm plugging the old mag bifolar, pushing it out of the way grabbing the new bifiller coil. In fact, I'm going to grab a mono coil right here and just use that as a mount. Uh, yeah, that works out just fine. And I'll keep that within an inch or two of the same distance and I'll plug it in. All right, so the last one was 10 milligauss and this one is 50 milligauss. So it's five times more powerful. And I'll give you ampl video amplification again so you can see it. And I, I'm going to turn it on. And it's reading 50 milligauss uh, with the same PEMF device. So that's five times more um, potent, powerful than the 10 milligauss that was generated by coil outside the field of view. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'll be doing other videos, but I wanted to stress the significant improvement between this coil and the old mag coil. Um, that's just, just the way technology goes. Uh, things get better and better all the time. All right, thank you for watching this video.